What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to show you guys how you can farm Blood Echoes, which is the number one thing you need in Bloodborne to level up, to level up your characters. So here we go. So in order to get this exploit, you need to find an area. So you start off in the Cathedral Ward. And uh, when you come out this building, you're going to turn to the right and there's a set of stairs. You go up these stairs and you take out these enemies. You don't necessarily have to beat every enemy that you see here. You can literally run right through this entire section if you have enough defense and uh, and make it to where you need to be. But anyway, you're going to come up the second set of stairs and you're going to turn to the left. And there will be an enemy standing here. You can come up here and hit him with a visceral in his back. Or you can continue to the right once you get to the top of that stairs. Take out these enemies. And you remember the, the boss in this stage was right here. So right before you go up the last set of stairs, you're going to turn to the right. And so now we're at the end of that corridor. We're coming down and you're going down the hill. Be careful in this area. There's some really strong hunters down here. One has a gun, the other one has a blade, and they will kill you pretty easy. Anyway, you continue on the path. There's only one way out. And over here, there's a bag man. Be very careful. These guys are really tough. I would suggest if you're not a higher level to actually run past this guy because it's not imperative that you beat him. Anyway, once you kill him and you look down over the edge of the cliff, you'll see two enemies with guns and two big, strong behemoth type enemies out in that field. So what you want to do is creep down behind these guys, kill them, hit them with viscerals, and then you proceed on your way. Now the two bigger enemies I really wasn't concerned with, I wanted to actually get to this building that I see out in the distance. So I ran past these guys to get inside of here. And the good news is once you get in here, these guys will not follow you. So you're actually safe. You need your, you're where you need to be. And you can actually begin farming. So inside this big room, there's a circular cathedral and there's really no place to go. There's a door over there, but there's no enemies. And so what you do in order to get to where you need to be, which is um, the lecture building, you come over to this door and you try to open it and then something invisible will grab you and it'll kill you. And I was kind of upset when this happened, but luckily for me, this is what happened next. Have mercy on the poor bastard. <laughs> Alright, so what after what appears to be your death, you are teleported here to the lecture building, and you're teleported right next to a lantern. So that's really helpful for this exploit. If you guys want to make tons and tons of blood echoes, I'm gonna show you how to do it now. First thing you do is you walk out that the hall into this main hall and then you take the first door on the right which will lead you into a little classroom now up here up the stairs on the left you're actually in the big classroom and you start taking these guys out now these guys look slow they are pretty slow but they are actually are pretty powerful depending on uh, your level and so what I normally do is I take out the first two or three then I come and wait in this corridor here because they've got a lot of reach watch his arm they got a lot of reach so you really want to kind of stay back and not give them too much of an opportunity to destroy you but if you have a pretty strong weapon what you can do is take out groups at a time so I'm gonna take out these guys I'm gonna get back and give myself a heal take out these dudes alright those all those guys fell at the same time so that's pretty sweet alright so I don't know if you guys noticed I got about 14,000 blood echoes just from doing this and uh, Rinse and repeat. You come over here, there's two guys left. You hit one. Yes, I'll just shoot this guy with my cannon. I love that cannon. He's done. And then you go right back to the hunter's dream and you repeat. And I'm going to show you guys how to get back to the lecture building as soon as we get back to the hunter's dream. So you come back in the first room you're in. You swing on back to the hunter's dream. Alright, so once you appear back in the hunter's dream, you want to spend all your money with this lady, but don't do it just yet. What you're going to do is you're going to come up to the fourth tombstone. There's one, two, three, and four, which is the nightmare headstone. You click on that, and there you go. You're back in the lecture building, and you can farm all the blood echoes you need. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, hit that subscribe button. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.